Hi, my name is Chris Nagus. I'm an instructor for Red Hat and I'm going to be talking about our System Administration 2 class. Now System Administration 2 is, uh, is basically for people who have some experience with Linux, either that or have taken our System Administration 1 class and uh, want to be able to uh, maybe eventually go on and get a Red Hat Certified System Administration certification. Now it's a four-day class and we're going to be covering a whole range of topics such as uh, working with file systems, uh, adding and deleting users, uh, adding packages, uh, uh, and basically all you need to do to manage a basic Red Hat Enterprise Linux system. Now today I'm going to be doing a demonstration of one of our tools for adding and, and removing software. So we have both graphical and we have command line uh, ways of, uh, of working with packages in Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Now if you've used uh, package management in a older system, one before Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6, you may notice that the interface at the graphical level has changed. Uh, to get to uh, the packages in Red Hat Enterprise Linux uh, 6, you select System, Administration, Add and Remove Software. And then what we have here is a new graphical administration tool that's based on a facility called Package Kit. From here, I could just uh, grab a particular package. For example, I'm going to type in the word Joe and look for a, uh, a package that contains an old text-based editor. You can see that it came up and highlighted this easy-to-use modeless text editor. Package name is Joe. You can see a description of that package at the bottom of the page. And you can see details such as the licensing, uh, the size of the download, and the source of the, uh, the package as well from this screen. Now, if I wanted to install this from the graphical interface, I would simply select a check mark there and select Apply and that's going to download and install the package and make it available for me to use in Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Now instead of using the graphical interface, I can also go right to the command line and do this. So for example, I can open a shell uh, under uh, Applications, System Tools, uh, Terminal. I can become the root user. And once I'm the root user, I can use the yum command to do all kinds of things with packages, such as query packages, uh, list information about them, uh, or install them, uh, and or remove packages. In this case, I'm just going to do yum install joe and I'm going to install the Joe package. What yum is doing here is it's going out to the repository, it's grabbing the Joe package, bringing it down, and installing it on my system. Now once that package is installed on my system, I can use all kinds of other commands to be able to query uh, that particular package to find out you know, what version is installed on my system, what, what information I can find out about where the package comes from, and also other information about that package such as uh, what commands, what documentation, what configuration files are included in that package. So for that, I'm going to use the RPM command. So I'm going to do rpm-q joe and this is going to tell me that we have the Joe package installed. It's version 3.7-4 and it's available for me to use on this system. Now if I want to see what the components are in that package, I could do rpm-ql and that's going to list all the different, uh, different components in that package. I'm going to scroll back a little bit here and you can see from this that uh, we have uh, some files in the, Joe direct the Etsy directory uh, for configuring the Joe package. We have some executables in user bin. Uh, in fact, in particular the Joe executable itself and then in the user share directory we have a bunch of documentation and other information that's going to be available uh, with the Joe package including uh, manual pages on how to use Joe and related components. Now if I wanted to I can also just specifically see particular parts of the Joe package. For example rpm-qd will let me just see the documentation available with the Joe package. So those are the documentation files. Uh, rpm-qc let me see, lets me see the configuration files in that package. Our RPM-QI will just show general information about the package itself. So RPM-QI, good. If you don't really know what's in the package, uh, run RPM-QI, give it the package name, and you'll be able to see things like, well, the URL to get you to the project site where the, where the software is developed. Uh, information on what group it came from, uh, what group of packages it's in, uh, where the source code came from, uh, who is the vendor of this particular package. Uh, a, a short summary and then description of that package as well. So again, these are the different things you can use uh, using the RPM command. When you're done with the package, you can remove it uh, using the RPM command or using the yum command. So yum remove Joe will let me remove that package from my system and now um, that package is now no longer available. 
So that's just a, an idea of one of the uh, different types of features that are going to be covered in our System Administration 2 class. Again, if you were to go on, uh, take this class, you could go on and, and hopefully uh, receive an RHCSA certification. Uh, after that, you could go on to our System Administration 3 class and potentially earn a Red Hat Certified Engineer certification, RHCE, uh, by adding lots of uh, descriptions of lots of features like how to set up servers and how to secure a Red Hat Enterprise Linux system. I hope you enjoyed our little taste of training. Thank you very much.